Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on doing a quaff differential on a BMW M235i. Mine's a 14 automatic. This is how it shipped. This is actually the non-LSD unit, but that's how it shipped. And in, uh, here's the invoice from Bird's Garage. So you can see it shipped to Pennsylvania and in euros. This is what it came out to is about $1,700. And I more or less wanted to do this video because BMW says you need specialty tools and I didn't need any specialty tools other than a huge wrench. So I'm going to jump in and show you guys how I did it. I'm on jack stands. I'm not really well supported here because I'm just jumping under. I do have a jack stand for safety, but I'm just jacked up on it. I did this job on jack stands and was able to get everything done here in my garage. I did have BMW say they didn't want to, they would not do it because it wasn't factory and a bunch of shops said they couldn't do it because of specialty tools and I was able to get it done. So I'm going to show you guys how. Um, first thing is I dropped the exhaust all the way down just by removing these two rear bolts. Um, here's one, just dropped that out. I think they're 13s, the other one's on the other side over here. And I just let the exhaust hang there. Um, and then I have a couple notes, sorry. So I'm just gonna look at that. Came up and did the front nut, left it in gear. So here's the front drive shaft, not the propeller shaft. So, I just had to get a 50 mil wrench off of Amazon. And so here's your 50 mil wrench and was able to get it on here to take it off. I turned the nut with the car in gear on the parking brake on, turned the nut towards the passenger side. There is a warning here from birds that says, oh, sorry, it says do not touch this ring. It's for back, backlash, so you do not want to do that. I found it way easier than using that wrench the whole time to get, well, after it was loosened up, to get a pair of channel locks on this to turn it. Again, I had very limited space though. Um, and then there's just three bolts to come out. The one is on a on the vibration absorber back here. I was able to get off the torques here with just an eight mil 16 point and I braced up against the battery box to get that out. And then there's a 22 mil nut behind that that is a bolt. And then there's a nut up behind the drag shaft up here. I don't know if you guys can see it because I can't see my phone. Um, but it's up behind that drag shaft. And then there's two more that are right here and on the other side over there that are 18 mils that come off. Um, here's that location on the instructions for taking this off that stuff is not where you get into specialty tools but here on the instructions is where bmw says you must go in and use a specialty tool to take off the axles so after loosening those bolts it's still going to be held in by them don't take them the whole way out and i want to show you guys how i pop those off with no specialty tools Make sure you can see I'm a lot tighter down here than I was previously so I had it up a good bit more and actually supported on jack stands 
So right here are your axles. And I was able to go in, I'm just using a screwdriver for now, but I was able to go in right here and just hammer in even a screwdriver here and then just put on a regular old S-wing pry bar um, that looks like this and just get it in behind there after I made the gap. And with those bolts loose, I just popped those open and then took the bolts out, all of the bolts out with that nut the whole way off and swung the whole differential unit down and the instructions which I'll link to say to pick the right side which I take as the passenger side up in the air except I was not able to get that one first so I pulled the driver side the whole way down and was able to get that drive shaft out first. At the time, there were only the drive shafts holding it in and then got the passenger side second and going back in was the same way. I was able to get the passenger side first with it coming at an angle down and the driver's side second by you know, leaning it way down and getting it to start in and then fighting it back up. I had my whole car supported on jack stands and then was able to just use the jack to put the unit back passenger side on first up in place got that nut up front started um after the bolts were in quite loose um or i'm sorry i got that nut started before i put any of those bolts in and then put the bolts in because it was pretty close um i did take down the heat shield up front which are just 10 mils um I took that down just a little bit because I didn't want it dented and I did hit it a little bit. You can see I straightened it back into place pretty well. Um, the torque specs on the bolts are here. Sorry guys. Are, you can see it says the two front facing bolts are at 100 newton meters and the back one that has a nut on it is at 165 newton meters i was not able to find the one for the nut up front but i'm not new to automotive so i put it on with the big wrench uh, about as hard as it came off you know snugged it up real good and let me see if i have any more notes for you um after putting it down, Quaif takes a very specific oil, so they want no friction modifier um, on their on the oil. So this is the Titan Synthploid 7590. I crossed this out because there's something else in this now. Um, and there is no break-in period that I found for a Quaif differential. So I hope that helps you guys a lot. Again, I was not able to find any of that information and had a bunch of shops say they wouldn't do it for me. And BMW refused because they said that it wasn't a factory item and they will only put in factory items. So I asked about five places and got no's all around. That's why I did it here in my garage. Um, it probably took me about six hours on jack stands, but that's how it goes sometimes when you want what you want. So hope that helps you guys. Again, I was able to do it without harm. Um, I think I forgot to mention to get those, uh, those back in. I was, uh, to get those back in, I was able to just put a wood block right on the side right here and tap it with a rubber mallet. The other side's a little bit more difficult, but they popped right back in. There's a C-clip 
on them that it says, the wording on it says like to renew, but they weren't hurt in any way. And there is no way that those things are coming out. It is such a fight to get those axles out. You have to have it at the right angle anyway. So I didn't see any reason why that spring steel on those C clips that are inside there would be hurt in any way um, or how they would come out. Um, so I have two days of driving it. I definitely can feel a huge difference in the limited slip, in the torsion limited slip. And um, yeah, no problem at all. I've definitely been at speed with it. So uh, again, just wanted to give you guys a heads up here um, on a video and say, you know, I did not need any specialty tools. So hope this helps somebody out there to do a project or even just a link to, you know, somebody that says they can't do it because it's not that bad. Cheers, guys.